10 most expensive pianos in the world. One, L'Amort du Signa, Arad, valued at $409,000, ranking 10th on the list of the world's most expensive pianos. Is L'Amort du Signa by Arad, crafted entirely from mahogany, one of the most luxurious woods in the furniture market. This piano exudes opulence. The tone wood might not even do justice to mahogany's rare and luxurious quality. L'Amort du Signa, Arad, also known as the Dying Swan, was born in 1906 in France, created by the top artisans of that era. With its rich brown wood finish and elegant design, L'Amort du Signa, Arad, stands as one of the most sophisticated pianos globally. 2. The Casablanca Piano, Richardson Zinc, valued at $602,500. The Casablanca piano is forever associated with the iconic film Casablanca. It's likely why it's affectionately called the Casablanca piano. Fans of this legendary movie can't forget the image of Sam, played by Dooley Wilson, performing as time goes by on this piano, evoking romantic memories of Rick Blaine, Humphrey Bogart, and Ilse Lund, Ingrid Bergman in Paris. 3. Marilyn Monroe's Piano valued at $662,500, belonging to the Baby Grand category and owned by Marilyn Monroe. This piano is appropriately named after her. It's highly regarded for its quality, design, and aesthetics, and Marilyn Monroe purchased it for a whopping $662,500. 4. Alma, Tadima Steinway Piano valued at $1.2 million. Steinway, known for its quality and extravagant pianos, is no stranger to us, and Alma, Tadima is no exception. Not only is Alma, Tadima a pricey piano, but it's also a masterpiece of artistry with intricate designs and decorations. Every detail of Alma, Tadima was meticulously crafted by artist. Sir Lawrence Alma, Tadima, in 1887. From the piano lid to its body and legs, everything is perfectly crafted. Another captivating aspect of Alma Tadima is the assembly of 2,200 pieces of ebony, along with a classic oil painting above the keys. Steinway underwent a 20-month restoration process on the Alma Tadima piano in 2002, making it one of the most costly projects for the brand. 5. Kuhn Bosendorfer Piano, valued at $1.2 million. The Kuhn Bosendorfer Piano, often dubbed the darling of the L. Bosendorfer Klavier Fabric, GmbH piano manufacturer in Austria, and sculptor John Kuhn, ranks fifth on the list of the world's most expensive pianos. It's considered an icon of modern style pianos, thanks to its grandeur exquisite gold-plated leaves, uniqueness, and elegance. 6. Galaxy Piano, a valued at $1.36 million. The Galaxy Piano was designed by the luxury brand United Arab Emirates, targeting an ultra-luxury clientele. It's famous for its full-body gold plating, and it's the world's first piano with a seductive curved keyboard. 7. Steinway Sound of Harmony Piano, valued at $1.63 million. Steinway and Sons introduced the Sound of Harmony in 2007, showcasing an impeccable sound quality achieved through the use of 40 different rarewoods, including sound-enhancing spruce. The piano features an elegant peacock design in Mother of Pearl, along with gold-plated Steinway and Sound of Harmony logos. 8. Red Pops Red Piano, valued at $1,925,000. In 2013, musician Bono, the leader of the iconic Banjo 2, decided to create the Red Pops Piano with the assistance of Jonathan Ive and Mark Newson, aiming to raise funds for the Global Fund to combat AIDS, malaria, and tuberculosis in Africa. The Red Pops Piano 
became one of the most sought-after items at the charity auction. With billionaire Stuart Ra winning the bid at $1,125,000. 9. Steinway Model Z Piano Valued at $2,370,000. The Steinway Model Z Piano belonged to singer John Lennon and is one of his most valuable memorabilia, crafted from rosewood. This piano was used by John Lennon to compose his famous song Imagine, his most successful piece. 10. Heinzmann Crystal Piano Valued at $3,220,000 Topping the list of the world's top 10 most expensive pianos, with both material and historical significance, is the Heinzmann Crystal Piano. Made entirely of luxurious and modern crystal in Beijing, China, and auctioned for a staggering $3,220,000. The Heinzmann Crystal Piano is the most expensive piano in the world, not just among her one pianos, but all musical instruments. The pianos in the top 10 the expensive pianos in the world list are highly valuable due to their association with historical figures and their use of costly, luxurious materials. They are also exquisite works of art crafted by renowned artisans. Have you ever wondered where the piano came from? Who created that magnificent masterpiece? Where did those enchanting sounds originate? If you're genuinely interested, there are undoubtedly numerous questions swirling around your mind. So, do you want to learn more about the piano? Keep reading and you'll discover some fascinating insights. How did the piano come into the world? In 1709, an Italian named Bartolome Cristofori created the world's first piano, calling it the pianoforte later shortened to piano. This piano was crafted based on the harpsichord, a musical instrument that had been around since the 15th century. The harpsichord had strings and a keyboard, and its keys were plucked by quills. It was a favourite instrument of many renowned musicians of the time. The structure of the piano. Soon after, many other craftsmen created pianos with hammers. This new type of piano completely replaced the harpsichord because of its remarkable improvements, allowing for dynamic control of sound volume based on the player's touch. By 1876, Johannes Zemp from England crafted the world's first square piano, shortly after, in France. Arad also produced a similar piano, however. These pianos had somewhat weaker sound compared to the larger pianos. After undergoing significant advancements, the pianos we know today were perfected in Germany around 1800. Pianos of that era were extremely expensive, reserved for the elite of society, and became a status symbol. The development of Japanese pianos Japan didn't follow any other nation's lead. Instead, they experimented and created pianos for themselves. While other countries mass-produced pianos to reduce costs, Japan continued to make each piano by hand, with most parts being handcrafted. As a result, Japanese pianos were significantly more expensive than those from England, France or Germany. It wasn't until 1887 that Japan adopted modern manufacturing methods, inviting German experts to teach high-volume piano production techniques without using laminated wood but opting for a high-quality solid wood. These pianos produced exquisite sound quality with clear and vibrant tones. Many of these pianos have a lifespan of over 100 years and are still playable today, requiring only string and hammer replacements. Most of them remain shiny and well-maintained thanks to their lacquered black finish. Even today, these pianos are highly cherished and sought after by many. They hold sentimental value for numerous individuals. However, as businesses sought to change manufacturing methods to reduce piano costs, they implemented technical improvements, including the use of laminated wood to save time and expenses. Sound design became computer programmed, providing flexibility and precision, however, unintentionally. 
These changes led to the loss of the piano's essence. The sound of the piano lost its crisp, rustic quality and was replaced by four sounds akin to a lifeless and uninspired machine. This is why many individuals still choose pianos from the 1980s. They remain a wonderful companion, revealing musical talent in its most natural form.